All right. Okay. So to use the cutter, it has three different safety mechanisms. It's four. So this has to be turned to the right. This key has to be turned to the right. This has to be closed all the way, and both buttons have to be pushed at the same time. Do you have to cut? Mm -hmm. Now, the way that this line works, and the way that this lever works, and this lever works. So, first, this lever. So, as you can see right here, it says hone. What that means is that you want to turn it to the left all the way until it goes to the very, very back. And basically, you're going to use this if you want to be able to measure, and you're doing them over and over again, because it will give you the numbers. So, see how it says down now? You need it all the way to the back, and it'll give you numbers. And that's how many inches there are. So it has a ruler here. So you can bring it back. So what I do, you stick it all the way in, put it up against the guide on the right hand side here, and then turn it to the right and push it forward. And then you can see that this line is where you're gonna cut. So what you always do is when you're cutting, make sure that you keep it up against the guard on the right hand side so that it's straight. And then this line should be, the, the closest part of the red line should be where you want that cut to be. So see how the back of the red line is on the bottom of the blue? Mm -hmm. So then you close it, make sure this is turned to the right, and both buttons at once. Now, if you have a large stack of paper, so see, that's a perfect cut. <clears throat> if you have a large stack of paper and you want to hold it in place, so first we're going to bring it to the forward, and say we just have a large stack of paper like we don't right now, but if we did, and you want to hold them all in place, that's what this top lever is for. So you push it down, and then turn it all the way to the right, and that'll hold your paper in place. All right? And then you can cut it there. So that allows you to hold large stacks in place. The other thing is that, say, <clears throat> say you're in a situation where you can't close this top guard because um, maybe you're like this, right? And you can't close this top guard. You can pull it out and drop it. Oh, okay. And it'll just hang. And then you can cut. So that's it. The other thing is that every once in a while, you know, little slivers will get stuck in here. And it's kind of difficult, but you can pull this up on either side, slide your finger underneath it, and you should be able to like wiggle it out there. And you want to basically change this. So if this gets bad, I would honestly recommend ordering a new one of these from Pacific Office Automation because this one's been here for a year. And then you can clean out underneath here, all the little slivers that you have, because they always get stuck in there. And then if you find that it's not cutting as well, you call them and they'll come and replace the blade. Um, <clears throat> they really should service this thing soon. It's been over a year since we got it, so it should be serviced soon. Okay. That's it. What about that black, or that wood The wooden block? thing? That's when you have large stacks. I use my fingers because my fingers are big, but if you have a large stack of paper and you want it to be perfectly even, you can use this to, oh, okay. to make sure that all the paper is in line. Okay. Cool. And that's that. And that's it. So then I'll do the I'll show you the folder.